Hello and welcome back to Mr. Captain A Gaming. Uh, we are going to be doing the fourth part of Gauntlet today. So, well, I say the fourth part, fourth part of the first act. Um, this is actually my second time trying to record this. I was getting some strange artifacting. Uh, turns out that my uh, one of my fans had stopped working, so I just kind of reseated the connection there, and uh, everything's fine again. Um, however. Last time I had actually purchased the rank two for the golden feather, uh, so you didn't get to, you didn't get to see me do that. So sorry about that, but it's just the boss fight now. This is gonna be a nice quick video, and uh, we'll get straight into it. So with this one, you get one revive. After that, unless you uh, manage to kill all the things. So here's the boss. I'm not going to skip the cutscene. Uh, you can kind of see this is the the Mummy King. I think it's the Mummy King. I'm sure it'll say. Let's have a look. So yeah, he's he's pretty angry. And so the tactics for this, we want to actually destroy one of these. Uh, we don't want to destroy both because if you destroy both, then he stomps and uh, it basically brings them all back again, which is what we don't want. Um, oh, what we do want to do? I'm going to do that. And I. Uh, oh. So, what we need to do is we need to stand on these and it'll spin everything around. I can't actually deal any damage to the boss. While uh, so we're now on the inside rank, so let's hope that we can get that done quickly. There we go. Yep, it's the Mummy King. So then his heart comes out. I want to deal as much damage to him as possible. Okay, it looks like we've got not quite half. And now he's going to stomp any minute now. Ooh, there it is. Now looks like we're gonna need to a third crack at it. It's okay. Kill as many of the little guys as possible. Kite them around. We've got to try and make sure that. Ooh. Very, very careful. Oh, there goes my life. But that's okay, I've got two revives. So. And as Questor. Oh, 
Come on, there we go. Oh no, he killed me. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was very unlucky. Fresh crown though. Right, I'm not going to go for it just yet. As you can see, it's not hugely difficult, but it is a challenge and requires lots of kiting, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, what can you do? And the other thing is, is when you're not standing on one of these, it winds back down. But I think this next one should just about do it. There we go. There we go. You slew the Sun King. A feat which many can boast of. One of those shards! Ah, that's the first shard. So like I said, this is gonna this was gonna be a, a much faster video, um, as it is just the boss fight. There's no kind of three stages to go through. And uh, yeah, a little bit of gold. You don't get very much for completing the boss, uh, especially on normal. But that's okay. We've got that one done, and that is the end of the uh, first section, really. Uh, there are two sections after that. I'm hoping that they do add more uh, because I do really, really enjoy this game. Um, and there we go. So have a look at the scores here. Looks like 6,036 for single player, and that is with the mage. It looks like. Uh, yeah. And you see, I, they've managed this in two and a half minutes, which is. Outstanding and really good, really good speeds. Uh, nowhere near as uh, nowhere near as slow as myself. Um, but as I say, I'm just gonna blame that on not playing in a few months. Uh, as you can see, we've got 2,963, which is nowhere near enough to get anything. But thank you very much for watching. That was uh, that was the as I say, the end of the first act of Gauntlet. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked the video, give it a thumbs down. If you wanted to leave a comment saying it was great, saying it was rubbish, calling me a noob, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.